Hello and welcome back to another um, tactics video. Um, it's more of a review, if I'm brutally honest. Um, before we begin though, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please hit the subscribe and smash that bell button um, and you will see more videos like this one. So, as you can tell, we're talking about the battle wagon today. Yet again, we have not had the release of the codex, so obviously I will be going back through some of these units, uh, maybe not all of them, who knows. Um, but today we're talking about Battle Wagon. Um, let's have a little look at the stats. So, oh, there's so it's power level of 11. Weapon skill 5+, plus, ballistic skill 5+, plus, toughness 7, which is decent. 16 wounds, which is also decent. Leadership of 7, which is irrelevant mostly. Not entirely, but irrelevant mostly. Uh, a 4 plus save. So between 8 and 16 wounds, so that's half of the wounds. Um, you're going to be at strength 8 with six attacks. Uh, between four and seven, you're gonna be at strength six with D6 attacks. One to three, four, strength four with D3 attacks. Obviously, all of these are kind of um, based on how far you can get the board, but it's got a decent level of thingy. So even if you take a full last cannon to the face with this one, and you've still got, um, you, still, you take the full six wounds, you're still gonna keep plowing as ever, which is always good. Um, the downside, my opinion, is that the Battle Wagon is a single model. It says it doesn't have anything. So you, nah, it says, you don't have to. You don't have to put anything on it. You can have it as is. So let's see what you get for that. Um, obviously, you can uh, you can take a kill cannon. You can take a cannon, a lobber, or zap a gun. So you can take a kill cannon and a cannon as well. You can take up to four big shooters or rocket launchers. It can take a death roller, a case, hard case, if I can speak English, or orcish, a grab and claw, or a wrecking ball. Um, and here we are, so let's have a look at those. So the kill cannon is 24 inches, D6, so you're going to be hitting on sixes regardless. Uh, shrank 7, minus 2 to the save, and 2 damage, which is good. Um, could get lucky, but is it worth it? I'm not sure. The cannon um, is heavy D6, um, or which is strength 4, no AP, minus, uh, 1 damage, or you can have 36, again, 36 damage, heavy 1, you can read it, um, strength 8, minus 2, and D6 damage, so it's closer to um, a, a last cannon, but not quite there, it's not there, um, an unrefined thing, so I think, I genuinely believe, unless I'm mistaken, that the the cannon itself is probably going to pay off. It depends on the points, you see. So we'll go over that in a second, actually. Um, big Shooter. My opinion on the Big Shooter is it's pretty good um, for what it does. It's uh, Assault 3, Strength 5, 1 damage. You can't really argue with that. It's Strength 5. You, I mean, you're going to hit one of them shots most of the time. And it's an Assault weapon, so you're definitely going to be hitting um, a lot better than a Heavy weapon. Rocket Launcher, Assault Weapon, yeah again, Strength 8, minus 2, 3 damage, so 4 of them, you're probably going to hit 1, maybe 2, which is, again, pretty decent, so you hit once or twice, you're likely to wound most of them, and you're going to do between 3 and 6 wounds, maybe, maybe more, if you get really lucky, um, let's go to the Zap Gun, Zap Gun is heavy 1, it is a Strength of 2d6, so between six, between two and twelve, minus three, and it's three does does three damage. Then the strength of the shot, if it's eleven, do not make a wound roll. Instead, it causes three mortal wounds, and then the bearer suffers a mortal wound. So you've got a lot of wounds to go around. However, risky. Death roller. So this is probably one of the best things if you're going to build it as a close combat um, transport which I haven't actually talked about the transport yet, but anyway, we'll go on to it. So user strength, so between seven and four, no, between eight and four, minus two to the armor, one damage, but the add three to the hit rolls for this weapon. So instead of hitting on a five, you're gonna be hitting on a three plus, which is cracking. So if you get six attacks, at strength eight, hitting on three plus, unless my mass is wrong, wait a minute, my mass could be way off. Uh, effectively you're taking three off that, so it's actually going to be hitting on the two plus. Shut up, Nicolas. Um, so, you're going to be doing a lot of damage, um, which is, you're going to be hurtling towards the enemy anyway. You can take a grabbing claw. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Oh yeah, and all. So you can take a grabbing claw, which again, 
we'll hit on a 5 plus instead. Uh, minus 3, make a single attack each time it fights. And the Wrecking Ball is plus 1 to so strength, so it's going to be strength 9. Unless I'm wrong. Mostly between strength 9 and strength 5. Okay. Minus 1, 1 damage, but it makes 3 attacks with, with this weapon each time it fights. You can get some extra attacks in there, that's kind of cool. The Ard Case um, has a toughness character 8. Characteristic of 8, but loses the open top ability. Uh, ignore me on the mobile... <laughs> I didn't read the mobile fortress rule. Um, ignores Pensley for moving and firing heavy weapons. It's kind of just as well, isn't it, really? Um, open top, which means <clears throat> any of the models in here can shoot out, basically. Um, obviously, if you want to read it out thoroughly, um, pause it and watch it, read it. It can take, it can transport 20 orc infantry models. Each mega armor jump pack model takes a space of two other models. So you can take 10 of either of those. And if you equip it with a kill cannon, you can only transport 12 models. So it becomes like a, good gosh, a, a orc truck. Wait a minute, orc trucks. Yeah, 12, isn't it? Oh my gosh, it's been a while. Anyway, so because of the open top rule, you can bang 10 Burner Boys in there and you can get between 10 or 30 auto hits. You can chuck um, uh, 15 Looter Boys in there and have some other extras in there too. Um, you can put anyone with a good shooter, you can put you can put um, Tank Busters in there and you can get 20 shots plus your 4 Rockets for the other ones. You can do a lot of damage. Obviously it will be a massive bullet magnet and it will be very point heavy. Um, one second. Oh, no. Oh. So what we'll do is we'll have a quick look at the points where it's on. Uh, good old favourite. Battle Scribe. So currently, without any upgrades, it is 161 points. Um, if we went for the Death Ruler, 19 points. That's very... Um, very good. Let's see what it's come up with. Uh, we're just doing it on her. Ignore that. So you can always take at that point it becomes 108 points for a close combat beast. If you wanted to make it a battle fortress as it is, you can get a big bun, big gun. Good gosh. And um, you can get the cannon. You can get the kill cannon. We're gonna take the death roller off, aren't we? No, we already have. We already have. And then obviously you can put, in this instance, we're going to put big shooters on there. Because I feel like we could do a lot more damage. Well, I'm four of them at six points apiece. Becomes 215 points now. Obviously we've put the kill cannon on there, 15 points. So you could put 12 looters in there and it could, well, I don't want to say that word, but it could absolutely drip lead out of the, um, out of the, out of the battle wagon and it would give them a four up save make them toughness seven they would have they, there's a lot of wounds to get through there let's be honest if you've got a well a squad of 15 looters in there there's 15 plus 16 wounds there's 31 wounds there and a lot of rockets and a lot of missiles a lot of shots which are going to do a lot of damage however well let's 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 have a look at that let's look at points for that one so we'll put some so we are looking at heavy support again. Now again, take this with a pinch of salt because it is a very point heavy um, exercise, but we'll just do it anyway, just for funsies. Heaven loves funsies. Let's put that one in. So we've got 15 looters, 255 points, but the full force is 470 points, but that is a lot of bullets. That is between, <clears throat> between 15 and 45 strength seven, minus one, Two damage shots. <coughs> Do apologise from the looters. And then obviously you've got, let's have a little lucky poos, <coughs> from the battle wagon. You've got the big shooters, which is going to be 12 strength 5 shots. You've got between, you've got either the D6 or the 1 strength 8, and then D6 strength 7. So, meaning, and you can roll around with that with no problem. And that is going to be a lot of bullets and you're going to keep the loot safe for a little while. Now, obviously, there's stuff to deal with that. You know, you're going to you're probably going to have to put like a little herd of Gretchen around so no one can just come up and punch it with a power fist. But it can do a lot of damage, uh, which is pretty good. 
don't, don't take this as um, this is the definitive tactic for using a battle wagon. But basically, there's a lot of ways you can use a battle wagon. Um, but my opinion is one of its best strengths is the fact that it's open top. That you can literally put as much ammunition as you would blooming well like in there. You could put um, at least a squad of 10 knobs in there. Well, that would be like 20 wounds. They could all have combi scorchers. Um, and again, that would be brutal beyond recognition. recognition. Um, a firebomb. But again, very point heavy. It would be like all or nothing on this one unit. But it would be really fun. Um, if, if you've ever done anything like that, let me know. In the comments down below, um, that would always be good. I went to do that. Oh, we're going on for 11 minutes now. Um, obviously, tons of where to do it. Let me know what you do with the battle wagon. Um, whether you think it, what's going to happen, whether we're going to keep it in the new edition, in the new codex. Um, I'm waiting for the looted wagons to come back because they did bring it back after the 7th edition codex was released and then they went, yeah, we're going to have to put it on. So I feel like they're going to be bringing a kit out um, for the looted wagon. Anyway, going off on a massive tangent, that's the unification group. If you're not already on it, get on it. Um, Edict Beers, 40k unification group. Get right on that. Um, anyway, <laughs> bit of an advertisement. Uh, we'll call it there for a day. We'll call it there. Um, comments down below. Always good. If you think I've gone on for too long, tell me to shut up. And thank you very much. Goodbye.